Depending on who you ask, being quiet can be both a blessing and a curse. There's nothing wrong with being quiet, but there are often certain stereotypes or assumptions people make that might not be entirely true. So what are some facts about quiet people actually? Well, let's figure them out. Number one is that quiet people as leaders. If you need to be heard, talk to a quiet friend. When opening up to someone, you probably don't want that person to make it all about themselves or even interrupt and make assumptions in between. Quiet people here are someone who can calmly hear you collecting their thoughts and only give advice when it's wanted or required. When someone uses empathetic listening, it boosts our satisfaction and relational quality. Number two is that being quiet doesn't equal depression. It's true that introverts as quiet or reclusive people are more likely to be depressed. The idea of extroverts being extremely happy and introverts being less happy is not entirely false but might be a little exaggerated in the handbook of solitude. Well, in this book, there is a chapter on introversion, solitude and subjective well-being that examines the difference between introverts and extroverts with regards to happiness. Extroverts can soothe themselves by hanging out with friends, going to parties, but introverts show more stereotypical signs of depression just by being themselves. A dissertation by a psychologist in 2007 also revealed that there is a relationship between someone's creative ability and their intelligence. The traits found in a person that is more creative and intelligent were the opposite of what you would expect from the stereotypes in movies. They found that risk-taking, playfulness, sense of humor, openness to new experiences, freedom, flexibility and originality were all common amongst the more creative people but these traits don't necessarily describe a loud person. They might be more outgoing and have all these traits but still be quiet. Number three is that they are more self-aware. Quiet people stay quiet just because of their self-awareness. When we are in a casual gathering, our focus should be on projecting outwards and engaging with the people around us. Self-awareness is a good thing. It keeps you grounded, but it comes with downsides. Do you ever feel like you can't fully appreciate a situation because you're too self-critical or over-analyzing itself at social situations? However, understand that self-awareness is helpful or harmful depends on your inner speech or the way that you think. If your thoughts are cold and harsh and you feel like a recluse in social situations, but if you enjoy being quiet around your friends and feel at peace while simply existing in the same space, then your self-awareness is enhancing a situation. So that's it for today guys. We hope that you've understood the psychological facts of quiet people. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends.